Bella per Matthews, plus quanqui William Campos, iusque daton skeleri canemos. Popolunque potente un insua victriki con versum viscera dextra, con natas gracies et ruptu foidere regni certaton totis con cusi virbus orbis in comune nefas. In festis quobuia signis signa, pare sacrilas et pila menantia pilis. Quis furru kiwis, quae tanta ligentia ferri, gentibus in visis latium praebere cruor in concre superba foret, Babylon spoliando tropaiis ausonis, umbracre raret crassus in ulta, della giri placuit nullus abitura triumpus. Teu, quantum terrae potuit pelagicre parari, co crenci vilis auserunt sanguine dextrae, unde venetita, net nox subisidera condit, qua que dies medios flagrante vos aisto ad horis, et qua bruma regins, ac nesci avere remiti, astringit scriptico glacial in frigore pontum. Sub yoga, jan seres, jan barbaros isset araxes, et gen si qua jacet, nascenti iconski anilu. Tum si tantos amor belli tibi Roma ne fandi, Totum sub latias legis cum misere sorben in te huerte manus. Mundum tibide fuet hostis. At nunc, si mirutis pendent quod moenia tectis urbibus Italiae, lapsis cringenti amuris saxa iacent, nul lucre domus custode tenentur, raros et antigri sabitatur in urbibus erat. Horre da quod dumis multus cri narata per annus esperiast, de sunt cri manus poscentibus arvis. Nun tu, pyrre ferux, nec tanti iscladibus auctor poinos erit. Nulli penitus de scendere ferru contigit. Alta sedent qui vilis vulnera dextrae. Quod si nun aliam venturo fata Neroni in venere viam magno caeterna parantur regna deis cae longre suot servire tonanti, nun nisi sae vorum potuet post bella gigantum jam nihil, o superi, querimur. Skeller ipsa nefas cre hac mercebe placent. Piros parsalia campos impleat, et poini saturentur sanguine manis, Ultima funesta concurrant proelia munda. Is caesar perusina famis mutinaeque laboris ac cedan fatis. Et quas premit aspera classes leucas, et ardenti servilia bella sobaetna. Multum Roma tamen debet qui vilibus armis, quod tibi res actas. This is our song of an uncivil war, fought in the nasty fields of Thessaly, of crime gone legal, of a superpower that disemboweled itself with victory's sword, of bloodkin battle lines, how in the pact of tyranny imploded all the forces of a concussed world clashed in combat, leaving a nation guilty of abomination. The citizen who marched against the city the Roman spear faced with the Roman spear. Countrymen, what insanity was this? This orgy of six swords. Did you enjoy it? Treating barbarian peoples that detest us to a spectacle of savage Roman blood sport when you by all rights should have been despoiling proud Parthia of her Italian trophies in fit retaliation. Why so willing to wage entropic wars that stood no chance of triumph, while killed Crassus' grisly ghost roamed unavenged abroad? Can you conceive how much land, how much sea might have been ours through the Roman blood that Roman blades have squandered? Where day's sun rises, where night's dozer stars, where southern midday seeds and scorching hours, where rigid winter that no spring can thaw fetters the civic sea in chains of ice, by now we'd have the wild Armenians and the Chinese beneath our potent yoke, 
as well as that race, if there even is one, that knows the secret of the Nile's true source. Then, if you still so lust for heinous warfare, once you've wrenched all the world to Latin law, only then, Rome, may you take up the sword of suicide, not while you have enemies. Now in Italy's city's walls are crumbling, the buildings teetering half demolished, ramparts reduced to huge heaps of wrecked rock. The houses have no one to guard them. Only the odd squatter wanders the ancient emptied city streets. Now Italy's countryside is overrun with brambles, her soil unplowed for year on year. No hands left for the work the fields cry out for. It wasn't you, fierce Pyrrhus, nor the savage Hannibal who achieved such devastation. No, foreign steel could not gore us like this. The deepest wounds are dealt by citizen swords. But if the fates could find no other way to gift us Nero, if an everlasting kingdom cost the gods dear, if Jupiter the Thunderlord could hold no throne on high before a war with vicious world-born giants, then gods, I'll not complain. The hideous crimes and rank abominations were all worth it. So, heap Pharsalia's dread fields high with corpses, let the brute Punic ghost with Latin blood, let the final combat clash at fateful Munda, Add to those massacres, O oh, Caesar Nero, starvation at Perugia, mutinous hardships, the armada overwhelmed at lethal Leucas, and blood of slave wars under Etna's slopes ablaze. Rome owes so much to civil war, as all was done to bring us you, O oh, Caesar.